Hello, everyone. You'll remember after the Chilcot inquiry about three years ago, one former Prime Minister was on the receiving end of a lot of criticism because of doubtful decisions he made in the lead up to the Iraqi war and the fallout afterwards. If the Iraqi situation had gone reasonably smoothly, he would have been probably vindicated, but it didn't exactly turn out like that goes to show how fickle worldly wisdom is. The reading from Jeremiah today makes the same point when it says, a curse on the man who relies on things of flesh. And in the Gospel Jesus says, alas for you when the world speaks well of you. Well, when we pay, play the world's game and kowtow to those who can boost our ego without questioning their ulterior motives, then we are, as the reading says, relying on things of flesh. Jesus points a different way. He did not rely on the things of flesh because he knew how fickle people were. You remember after he fed the 5,000, they wanted to make him king, but Jesus smelt a rat and he beat a hasty retreat into the hills. Shortly after that, he insisted that his followers eat his flesh and drink his blood. And when he said that, hordes deserted him. Again, he says, happy are you when people drive you out. A couple of Sundays ago, we saw where he was driven out himself of his hometown of Nazareth when the locals ganged up on him. Again, he says, happy are you when people abuse you. His trial before the Sanhedrin and Pilate was a catalogue of both physical, verbal and indeed mental abuse. He also says, happy are you when people denounce you as a criminal. Jesus himself was treated as a criminal when he was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. Jesus was a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. In John's Gospel he says, I always do what pleases him. And again he says, in the same gospel, As for human approval, it means nothing to me. Wanting the world to always speak well of us could betray a fickleness of character, and how many of us fall for it. If we're overly reliant in this department, it's time to ask ourselves a few pertinent questions. Are we so hooked on being politically correct, kowtowing to our betters, that we actually negate the gospel? You and I will be more respected in the, wrong, in the long run for standing up for what is right than being a crowd pleaser. Surely the only person, the only one worth pleasing is God. Jesus says, Happy are you when people hate you and drive you out. Rejoice, because your reward will be great in heaven. Now these words make little or no sense from a purely human point of view. Worldly wisdom doesn't wash with our Lord. In fact, the mysteries of the kingdom, he says, are hidden from the learned and the clever and revealed to mere children. And in another part of the Gospel he says, I will bring to naught, no it's St. Paul, sorry, to the Corinthians, I will bring to naught the wisdom of the wise. So keeping on the straight and narrow may not win us many friends in this world, but the important thing is that we don't let our Lord down. He is counting on our friendship, our cooperation, our support to further his kingdom of love in this world. That may be, that may test our resolve, but the Lord will not desert us. Standing by him will give us a deep inner peace which the world cannot give. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all. Oh. Oh.